I believe the first time that we both visited the Arboretum would have been in the early 80s. We were part of the University of Minnesota, so we graduated from the university, and so it didn't take us long to get to join and then get involved. We grew up in um, southeastern Minnesota in a very small town. Carmen uh, uh, grew up on a farm and I grew up in town, but I could see cornfields from my home. So, you know, the outdoors uh, was always a part of our lives. Having lived on a farm, um, it was a beautiful rolling countryside near Rochester, Minnesota. Wildflowers were one of my first passions. Conservation was a very big deal in my mind when we were even young. And so we heard about what was happening here and conserving this kind of environment uh, was really important to us and will always be. We were both in 4-H, she more in 4-H than me. We could still have all the blue ribbons, I think. Uh, some of them, yes, I certainly do. <laughs> 4-H was a big part of our life being in the rural community and um, I benefited from it. My projects were of course gardening, clothing, preserving the food from the garden and then we also collected and made scrapbooks of these wildflowers and leaves and things. I don't know that I have a favorite time or even a favorite place to be in the Arboretum. I usually head right out towards the uh, Snyder Building here and head out towards the flowers and then wander off in the various directions of some of the other gardens that are offered. Uh, often find a bench to sit on, just kind of sit there and take it all in. I agree with Carmen that I'm not sure there is a favorite time of the year. Some of the most memorable experiences were actually during the winter, uh, <laughs> when there was snow on the ground and there were campfires and we brought our grandchildren here one winter and I still have pictures of the kids trying to stay warm around the fires and the hot chocolate and I mean it was all just fantastic, great memories. Mm -hmm, absolutely. We've gone on many cart tours, we've taken many walks down the three mile walk around the various things to look at. We have a family that lives in New York City and they love coming here. I remember the last time they came, our grandson we're on a cart tour, we were touring around, somebody was helping us to you know, tell the children what was happening, and he said, stop, stop. And there was a milkweed plant with a big, beautiful flower, and there was a worm on it, a monarch butterfly worm. That child was so excited, and he has never forgotten that, I know. So we have moved recently to a continuous care community. When we had our home over in a nearby suburb, we had a very small garden, but whenever we heard about a variety of something that would thrive in the certain conditions that we had, we got it. And we, we really feel that having heard about it from the Arboretum has helped our own gardening there. I think the one thing we've tried to do over the years is introduce the Arboretum to friends that really do not know much about the Arboretum. And particularly uh, for the gala, we typically invite people to be at our table who have not experienced the Arboretum, so this is their first time to sort of come here. And it's an exciting uh, event for them to see for the first time. And I would say that that probably almost 100% of those folks have, have become involved. Mm -hmm. Now the amazing thing to us is last, it, last summer at the gala, we bought a luncheon or a dinner with Andrew. And so we decided that we'd bring three other couples uh, from our retirement community with us. And so we started to invite these people and all of a sudden they said, well, we've been members for years and years. I was on the board when the, we were acquiring some property and I'm really glad that all happened. But when the concept came up about the Red Barn, that really turned us on, not only because of the farming background, but also what it would teach people uh, about wh where food comes from. I think the farm at the Arb is a reflection of the vision that the directors have had to expand the programming here. The board came together with a commitment to make it happen that, and you look at it today, I mean, it's absolutely unbelievable what, uh, Still what, what that provides. Again, to, it's very to, popular. To children. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. well, there aren't many kids that have a chance to get on a farm these days. Mm -hmm. The incredible leadership that's been provided yes. by the directors They've all been just spectacular leaders, and it's been an honor for us oh, to absolutely. have the opportunity to work with them. And I would say that the Arboretum has had a lot of influence on my life as far as not only appreciating nature and conservation of it all and sitting down to just look at the beauty of a flower, that sometimes we just walk by a dandelion or a flower that's quite prevalent and we don't think about it. Um, I love the benches that are out here because it's a place to contemplate. 
I think it's impacted our lives significantly. I'm not sure that I really would have gotten involved in the tree farming program if I hadn't really understood how important trees are to the earth we live on. And the fact that this piece of property has literally every species of trees that potentially can grow in this part of the, of the world. I think leaving a legacy to the Arboretum is important to us because of some of the reasons we have maybe have mentioned already, that everything's changing around us and these green spaces are becoming less and less. That legacy is something that I would like to see conserved, that would thrive. The farmland that, candidly, we grew up around is disappearing you know, almost by the hour. Mm -hmm. and so to have a spot like this, it's, it's a gem. Oh. I mean, it is one of the true assets of this state. And so to potentially provide funding for the Arboretum for the future is something that's incredibly important. And so leaving a legacy to this great uh, institution is just something that we believe strongly in and are thrilled to be a, mm -hmm. a thrilled to be able to do it. Right.